Good morning, Philippines! Good morning, Bicolandia! Today, we will tackle about a specific cybercrime which we often commit unknowingly. This cybercrime is known as stopper piracy. We will tackle this topic with our special guest. She is a Jewish doctor and a graduate at the University of the Philippines, Diliman, and a bar examination passer last November 2017. Please welcome Attorney Marjorie Ebonia. Good morning, Attorney. Good morning. The software piracy is very rampant nowadays, even in different government agencies. Can you please enlighten us on what software piracy is? Software piracy, which is a type of cybercrime, is the way of stealing illegally protected software. It happens when a copyright protected software is copied, distributed, modified, or sold without the prior knowledge of the software owner. It is considered direct copyright infringement when it is claimed the copyright holders due to damages for use of their creative works. There are many misconceptions about this thing, the software piracy. Can you please elaborate its different types? Illegal copies of software circulate among computer users through number one, soft lifting or soft loading. It means sharing a program with someone who is not authorized by the license agreement to use it. A common form of soft lifting involves purchasing a single license copy of software and then loading the software onto several computers in violation of licensing terms. Number two, hard disk loading. This form of piracy involves loading an unauthorized copy of software onto a computer being sold to the end user. Number three, renting involves someone renting out a copy of a software for temporary use without the permission of the copyright holder. Number four, OEM unbundling. This form of Piracy means selling standalone software originally meant, meant to be included with a specific accompanying product. Number five, counterfeiting. Means producing fake copies of a software, making it look authentic. This involves providing the, the box, series, and manuals, all designed to look as much like the original product as possible. Number six, online piracy. It is the fastest growing form of piracy. There are hundreds of thousands of sites providing unlimited downloads to any user where the software provided through these sites is cracked to eliminate any copy of protection schemes. What is the law or act that punishes any person that will commit this crime? Section 4.2 of Republic Act 8293, otherwise known as the Intellectual Property of Code of the Philippines, states that the term technology transfer arrangements refers to contracts or agreements involving the transfer of systematic knowledge for the manufacture of a product, the application of a process, or rendering of a service including management contracts, and the transfer, assignment, or licensing of all forms of intellectual or of intellectual property rights, including licensing of computer software except computer software developed for mass market. The Section 217 of the same Republic Act contains the sanctions for any person infringing any right secured by provisions of Part 4 of the Act or aiding or abetting such infringement shall be guilty of a crime punishable by, by corresponding fine and imprisonment. Thank you, Attorney. We learned many things and you fixed many of our misconceptions about software piracy. Thank you for watching!